All right, then, lads, so let's talk about these trophy cases. All right, so I'm going to use the next one as an example just because I've completed it and I have Jeremy Lin. So I'm going to explain how to get some of the certain trophies. Also, I'm going to explain where you can get these trophies. Also, some extra trophies that you may not have known that existed. All right, so the first three, like, going down. So just, for example, the historic pennant, the Ewing jersey, and the Jerry Lucas picture. You get these all from historic trophy packs. So these three, it's the same with all the other teams. Obviously, you have the pennant, you have Alonzo Mona's journey, you have the historic team photo. You get all these from the historic trophy case. There are three of these that require a moments trophy. So it's this one, it's this one, and it's this one. The second one on the top row is an elite franchise highlight pack. Whereas this one is an elite franchise moment pack. I don't know why Julius Randle's there, but there we go. And then the final three on the end here are your current trophy cases. All right, so you get this one for completing the actual NBA series set. So you have to buy all these players with tokens. Obviously, the Knicks is one of the cheaper sets to do. But if you're looking to do like the Bucks, just for the starters, you're paying 150 tokens. So just keep that in mind. This one you get for scoring 250 points in multiplayer. There are other ways to get it. I will explain it after, but we're just getting the basis out of the way. Now, this is a centerpiece. So this is where a lot of the grinding is going to come in. So you either have to win 100 clutch time offline games, 100 clutch time online games, 100 triple threat online games, 250 triple threat offline games, or get 6,000 points in unlimited. There might be something for a triple threat co-op, but I haven't seen anything yet. Unlimited, you have to get 6,000 points, which to be fair, I've won six games. I'm already at 1,300. And also, Unlimited might be the best thing to grind, especially if you're good at Unlimited. And then the bottom picture, you have to beat the team in current domination. So if you hate domination, but you still want to complete these sets, you have to at least complete the first domination. So just bear that in mind. It is, you know, a bit of a grind. It's about 16 hours. And even if you go to, like, the Golden Age, you get more historic trophy cases. So just keep it in mind. Obviously, domination is a bit of a grind. It's really annoying. It's really boring. But if you want to complete these sets, you have to complete domination. All right, so we've spoke about that. Now, how do you actually get extra cases? For example, yesterday, even in the daily objective, if you complete all the daily objectives, you got a current trophy. So just keep an eye out on the daily because they could sometimes drop those. The way I found to get like extra ones for now is if you complete these divisions. So I completed the Atlantic division, which ended up giving me this. So it's a current East pennant and it's the one I needed. And then of course we got the centerpiece for completing 100 games in clutch time. But just off this, you can get a current pennant, you can get a current jersey, you can get a current team photo. So that's literally all the right side, just right there. So that's on the East side and then you have the same on the West side. So you can literally just knock down the current side for whichever team you're looking for with just doing this. Of course, you can get a lot of stuff by doing level 40. Obviously, you get an elite franchise highlight, but there. So, yeah, just keep in mind another elite franchise highlight. So, level 40 might be worth grinding, not just for the player, but because you get some other trophies as well. Even just going up 31, you get another elite franchise. But I will say, guys, the best way to get these is to just play the mode. Domination, you get a crap ton of, like, trophy cases. So, you have, of course, them all in the vault. So, if you pull something from the vault, that's a historic one. Touch them online. Obviously, 10 wins gets you a rare franchise moment. So, you may want to work your way up through there. Now, Triple Threat Online says you can get one in current, but I've never seen one in current and i've won about 30 games so yeah keep that in mind obviously you have to win 100 games of triple threat online so definitely keep that in mind just because that is another centerpiece and then of course just scrolling through unlimited as i mentioned the 6,000 points gets you a centerpiece which is pretty insane i'm not gonna lie like that's definitely one of the best things to grind but then after that you can probably stop unlimited if you don't like unlimited also guys i will stress you can get duplicate trophies so just keep that in mind i've already got two it's very annoying but just keep it in mind but yeah, guys, that's going to mainly do it for all the info. If you have any questions, by all means, let me know in the comments. But if your question is, how do you get this particular thing? Hopefully that answered it for you. But if it's something like, how do you get this team, this row, this number? Odds on, many people don't know either. I'm, I am probably don't, don't know. Just because, guys, if you need a, an elite franchise moment pack, unless you got it from when it was in the token market, from what I understand, that you're not able to get an extra one yet. We have to wait for 2k to drop another one. But again, if you have any questions, let me know. If you want to see an empty method, click on screen.